What's up, guys? Today, we're checking out the brand new Lizard Super Duty for all platforms by Egritona Modding. So we've got the Lizard Super Duty here, all kind of done up with a few stock configurations, and then, of course, a few custom ones. Now, this truck is branded as a Lizard, but I'm most likely going to refer to it as a Ford because that's what it is. But anyway, if you've customized things done to this truck, rims, tires, decals, light bars, bunch of other stuff. Now, this is by no means all the configurations you can get. You can get loads of different beds, such as flatbeds, of course, your regular box, and then I believe even a service box, which is pretty cool. Of course, every truck, you do have the option to get a gooseneck, and then, of course, your bumper pull hitch. Now, of course, when you get into this thing, very nice interior, probably one of the cleanest I've seen to date for a truck mod for all platforms. Now, if you go to start the truck up here, it does have some really cool custom sounds. Like you hear there, and uh, clearly, it is a diesel. Now, this truck does have a top speed of 160, so uh, it definitely goes. Of course, this is more of a work truck, so I don't know how much racing you're going to be doing with it. But speaking of work trucks, I think it's time we test out the towing capabilities of this thing. All right, so we've got our Lizard flatbed trailer here hooked up to the Ford. Personally, I think this thing looks great with this trailer. And I promise you, this is not a jab at Ford. We're just hauling a smaller tractor because that's all I had available in the save that wasn't completely unrealistic. Because, of course, I didn't want to put a massive tractor on this thing. So this thing has an unfolding tailgate, which is great if you want to put bales in the back of your truck. Maybe a lawn tractor or maybe even an ATV. So it is an option whether you want the gooseneck hitch or not. So if you don't want it, you don't have to get it. Now, I'm not terribly sure if this was actually beneficial to the testing of the truck, but uh, you can fit two square bales in the back. And then I think you might be able to fit two round bales, but uh, you know, how many uh, bales you want to haul is up to you. Now we're going to jump into the customizations of the truck here. You're going to find it in cars right here. F-350 Super Duty, 32,500 stock no configurations of course you've got loads of different color options here you've got so many to choose from you got your main color there and then you've got a design color so if you want to go blue not really the best color combination there we go that's look, looking a little bit better first option here configuration this just makes it so it has a super duty logo right here wheel brand here you got nokian midas lizard which is a dually and that's pretty much all of them wheel setup here you got rim one which is more of your stock rim Rim 2, which is more of a custom rim, kind of looks like a fuel rim. Rim 2, which I'm not even sure, is that? That's like a cross between a Ford rim and custom rim. And then Rim 1, you're back to stock. Light here, you got standard, and then it adds a light bar as well. I believe if you put on a custom bumper down here, which is another option, you get a light bar right there. So for bumper, you got standard. You've got plastic lizard, which is more of an iron cross looking bumper personally one of my favorites and then you've got your chrome version of that your normal black which actually puts a light bar right here which is pretty cool and then you're back to standard design this is for the grill here you've got your chrome lizard you've got your black and chrome lizard plastic lizard and then you're back to normal black and then standard extensions you got standard extension two which gives you a wider fender flare extension one which i believe changes the plastic color and then you're back to standard on that footboard here you've got standard and then footboard i personally think it looks better with footboard but uh if you want more clearance i want to go without the footboard and then that is all the options for the truck of course you've got rim, rim color as well if you want to go with something a little more interesting than chrome or black next up here you go into miscellaneous and you're gonna see all your different beds there's loads of different beds to choose from here you've got your standard body here of course all same color options as the truck you want to go and match it up so first option you got the stock you got the extension ones which kind of gives you a fender flare extension two which gives you a different color of the fender flare more of a darker plastic extension three which is a dually if you want to go a dually bed you can and then you're back to standard design You've got your kind of headache rack looking thing with lights. You've got it without lights, pro man lights, no lights. And then you're back to standard there. And then as well, you've got attachers. You've got all, which gives you the gooseneck and the bumper pull. And then you got the gooseneck attacher joint and then rear hitch. And then of course you can go back to none and then both again. Then for your decals or stickers, whichever you want to call them, you got standard here. You got four x four off-road. You've got another four x four off-road one. Another pretty much just different designs. You've got super duty four x four. That actually looks pretty good. And then you've got the one that kind of carries onto the cab there, super duty two, if you decide that option. Oh, and then you can go with uh, another four x four logo if you want. Oh man, you got lots of options. 
So that's all the options for the standard body. Next up here, we got flatbed version one. This one, again, all the different colors you want. We'll go with the red on that. You got a design color, kind of gives you the rack up there, a bit of a color. So box here, you got standard. You've got left box, right box, which gives you a box on the right. And then you've got box on both sides. And then you're back to standard design. You've got rear lights, and then you've got lights, which kind of points out the front there. Which if you've got cab lights and a light bar on top there of the truck, I don't see a reason why you need that, but more lights, the better, I guess. For attachments here, you got standard. You've got gooseneck attached joint, and then you're back to standard. It always has the bumper bowl hitch here, so you're good there. Next up here, we got flatbed version two, of course. All different colors you want you can change it up however you like this one is a bit of a different design so for light again you got standard light and then back to standard it actually doesn't have a light that goes back that's kind of interesting attachers this one actually gives you the option to have all but you do start off with standard and then rear hitch and then your goose next so you kind of have options to go either or on all of those or all of them next up here we got service body firstly another one of my favorites here again all different colors you want you've got your kind of main bed color here and then you've got your door color so if you want to go something else i probably should, shouldn't change that to the stock color you can kind of do whatever you want there and then you've got attachers which i believe this just gives you rear hitch you don't get a gooseneck because uh well i don't think you could tell a gooseneck with this really i think you're good going with a dually setup or a stock wheel setup on this pretty much whatever you want but a dually setup would look pretty good so of course all your beds are detachable and attachable kind of the same as most trucks here so if you just back up to it you can just attach it i do want to test out if this has the service capability all right we've got a little garden tractor here we'll test and see if this has the service capability with it which unfortunately it does not but what is cool about this bed is it kind of doubles as a fuel tank so if you want to fill it up with diesel or gas whatever you can and then you take it out to the field Unfortunately, you can't service vehicles with it, but still pretty dang cool. You've got your full service rig here. You can maybe put some seed in the back of this. I don't know. Would a seed pellet fit? Let's see. Oh, I don't think it will. Maybe sideways. Will it fit sideways? Oh, it does. So if you want to bring out seed to the field and fill your tractor up at the same time, this bed will be perfect for that. But anyway, guys, that was the Lizard F350 Super Duty. Again, this is out on all platforms. If you guys want to go check it out. My Agritona modding, I will have a link to the mod in the description if you guys want to go check it out. Anyway, let me know if you guys want to see more of me checking out these mods. I think it's kind of fun to do. Kind of changes it up a little bit. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all the next one.